everyone, it's Emily again with Nardis Gun Club here to bring you today's Nardis Showcase. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Glock 43X and the Glock 48 and what's different about them. Alrighty guys, and as always, before we begin, I want to demonstrate to everyone watching that we are working with safe and clear firearms. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear them. Okay, moving on to the 48. All good to go. Alrighty, so to begin, we're gonna talk about first the Glock 43X. I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with the Glock 43, um, but this one is basically just that with an extended grip. So what I mean by that, it's going to be their subcompact nine millimeter in a single stack, meaning that all of the rounds in this magazine are in a single straight line with one another. So this is gonna create that very thin profile on the firearm. Uh, meaning that it's ideal for concealed carry. It's gonna be very flush against your body and they're not gonna have many issues trying to conceal it. So that's why single stack is generally the first choice in concealed carry. What influenced the design of the 43X was actually the lack of ammunition that the Glock 43 had. So it only had six rounds of capacity and they added four more to this one. So we have a 10 round capacity in this firearm and it adds a little bit more of a grip to the bottom. So you can see that I can wrap my hand all the way around it comfortably. It's not going to be too short. It's not going to be um, anything that I have trouble gripping or anything like that. But that is why the 43X is favorable over the 43. The Glock 43X has a 3.4 inch barrel, so it is very compact, very small. Again, ideal for that concealed carry. It's slim line. That's the reason why they made it. And this firearm actually shoots incredibly well. It's one of my personal favorites. Um, having that 10 round capacity is really important. One, to have enough ammunition to um, carry every day and helping with the overall weight of the firearm. When you have less than, let's say, seven rounds, you don't have that weight that really is gonna account for that recoiling. So that is another reason why the Glock 43X handles really well. Alrighty, and next up is gonna be the Glock 48. And the reason I like to talk about this uh, firearm along with the Glock 43X is because they are very similar to each other. The only difference between the Glock 43X and the Glock 48 would be the extended barrel. This is a slightly longer barrel. It's gonna be slightly more accurate because you have a longer sight picture. Um, so obviously when you have a longer sight picture, it's gonna account for a little bit less muzzle flip, a little bit more accuracy. So this one is gonna be a little bit more fun to go shooting on the range with because it's gonna have slightly less muzzle flip and recoiling because of that extra length of the barrel. Glock is a very well-known brand of firearms. They are one of my personal favorites. I've been shooting them for many years now. Um, but one of the drawbacks people seem to have about Glock is that they don't have a manual safety. So what I like to say to this is Glocks do have actually more than one safety, but they are just internal mechanisms. You might not see it on the outside, but they do have um, three independently working mechanical safeties. The first being this guy right here. Of course, this is the trigger of our firearm. Um, so we can see that it is a two piece trigger. So you have to be pushing both parts of that trigger back in order for it to fire. The second safety is an internal safety that Glocks have. It's a firing pin safety. So there's actually a little block in front of your firing pin that literally blocks the firing pin from moving forward until that triggers all the way compressed to the backward uh, position. So even if you release that trigger back forward, it's going to re-engage. So there's no way that this gun can be fired without pulling that trigger back all the way. And the third would be the drop safety. So one, it's kind of how it sounds. If the firearm is dropped, um, it will not fire. Basically, the trigger bar inside here, of course, that helps our trigger work. Um, that's not going to drop until the trigger, again, is fully compressed. And all three of these safeties actually re-engage every single time that finger is let up off that trigger. Um, so what I would like to talk about here as well is the front and back serrations on the slide. This is gonna help get that tactile grip that you would need to, of course, clear that gun from either the front or the back of the slide. 
And like I mentioned before, the Glock 43X and 48 both have 10 round capacity. So this right here is the Shield Arms steel magazine that adds a 15 round capacity to either the Glock 43X or the 48. And another thing that I would like to mention in line with the Shield Arms magazine itself is going to be the mag catch. The reason why you want these to be working with one another and you wanna install this on your firearm if you are going to be working with this steel magazine is because steel works best with steel. So a couple other things uh, very quickly about the Glock 43X and the 48, or just Glocks in general, they are very simple firearms. Um, they're going to be very easy to maintain, easy to clean, easy to shoot, easy to overall understand. They don't have a ton of bells and whistles to them. They are simple and they are great firearms. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We really do appreciate it. Um, we look forward to seeing all of you guys in the store here. Come see us and we would love to show you uh, one of these amazing firearms. And you can always uh, as well find them on our website at nardisgunclub.com along with all kinds of really awesome products. And if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to like, share, and follow us. Thanks guys, see you in the next one.